Respiration. That's a posh word for breathing, isn't it? No. It's a very common mistake, though, and the two are closely linked. So what's the difference? Well, the fact that respiration is basically a chemical reaction that happens in every animal and plant cell. Okay. I'm with you so far. Good. Now this chemical reaction is where we get our energy from. So how does that work, then? Do you remember our animal cell? Well, it contains glucose, which is a very simple sugar. And we all know that when we breathe in air, oxygen gets into our cells. The oxygen and the glucose react together to produce carbon dioxide, water and energy. Is that it? Yes. So, respiration is the chemical reaction of oxygen and glucose to form carbon dioxide, water and energy. Yes, and respiration not only happens in animal cells, but in plant cells too. Oh, right. So, plant and animal cells respire because they need to create energy for life processes. R-S-N-E-R-G. It's Mrs. Nerd, so listen to me. Exactly. So respiration provides energy for those life processes. So respiration and breathing are different because respiration is a chemical reaction, whilst breathing is a muscular contraction. And that's why plants respire, but they don't breathe. Spot on. So is that lesson over then? No, not quite. You see, that was aerobic respiration, or respiration with air. What? You mean there's respiration without air? Yeah. Hmm. It's called anaerobic respiration. And it starts happening when you use up all the oxygen in your body. But how can that happen? I mean, we're breathing in air all the time, aren't we? Well, yes, but it's enough. Hmm. Trust me. Anaerobic respiration is something we've probably all experienced at some time or another. You know that feeling you get when you've just run the 3,000 metres in PE? Your legs are really aching. You're exhausted as if you're about to drop. And you're red in the face. And after you stop, you're still gasping for air for a couple of minutes afterwards. I do know how that feels. We all do. That's anaerobic respiration. It's where your body's working so hard that it's using up all the oxygen in the air that you're breathing in. But it still needs energy to keep going. So now it's got an oxygen debt. So how do we keep on going? The cell is forced to create energy, just glucose, which produces less than half the energy it did before. So anaerobic respiration is less efficient than aerobic respiration? Yes. Without oxygen, the glucose is converted into energy and lactic acid. Instead of carbon dioxide and water? Yes. It's a sort of state of emergency for our body. It can get very painful. Why? Well, the build-up of lactic acid can cause muscular fatigue. Like cramp? Yes. So, how does this oxygen debt get paid back then? Well, when the body stops working so hard and it needs less energy, it still takes in lots of air. This oxygen is used to break down the lactic acid. So is that why we always gasp for air after hard work? Yes. It's called our recovery time. It's the length of time needed for our body to pay back this debt. So does that mean the fitter you are, the shorter the recovery time? Yes. OK. Let's see. Come on, race ya.